Hello, my name is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be setting up a fun little page to put into my Christmas planner setup. And it's a little bit nice and it's a little bit naughty. So stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm planning on setting up um, a page, a specialty page for my Christmas planner setup. And I am going to be using something that I found and I've had, you know, stashed away in the stash. Um, I found it at the Dollar Tree, or sorry, not the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Spot at Target. Um, this was probably a couple years ago. It's actually a peel and stick vinyl stickers or sheets that you can, in their description, they used it in a sign. So they put together just a little Christmas sign, if you can see that. Maybe you can pick up the UPC and double check if it's still available. I'm pretty sure it's not, but um, I have it and I kind of want to use them. So it has naughty, nice, and check it twice. So I want to make this into a nice uh, little no pun intended <laughs> um christmas naughty and nice list sheet for the extension that i have in my planner so long-winded there let me get out the page i'm planning on using and then we can kind of just dive right in so oops i have my little sleigh so this is another thing i found at the Dollar Tree, or again, I keep saying Dollar Tree, sorry about that. The Dollar Spot at Target, again, a few years back. It's a cute little sleigh, and it's so fun to add onto my desk because I can keep boxes in there, all the little gift boxes that I might be doing, or, or gift card boxes. I can keep my journals in here. Even the mini Happy Planner will fit in here. It's not a big sleigh, but it's still cute to add to my desktop. So I am going to be pulling out the, honestly, I'm not really sure what it was called. It's this here, this insert here. It was from the Christmas box. I believe this was the 2020 exclusive Be Happy box from, I believe it was Michael's maybe, or you could get it at Michael's. Um, and it had in it, as you know, I put my advent calendar in between these pages so it had, let me just move this out of the way here and I'll bring out the pages. Makes it easier. So there was the top page and this was the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get my planner cover out of the way. Okay, so all together, this was the front, open it up, and then this was the back. So it's just a fun little... Um, paper or insert it is not as durable as the advent calendar but it is a nice card stock and i thought it would make perfect for making a naughty and nice list so um i have something to say about that meaning there isn't going to be really anyone on the naughty list um other than i do have a plan for that and i'm going to kind of talk about that as i go along so let me get these over here because these are really going to be um, what sets everything else in place. So as you can tell, they are pretty large in font. Um, I'm gonna pull out this one here. Or I'm gonna just get them all out. I'll just pull all of the words out. Now the beauty with this is I can take so I can take the letters and use them as they are, or, and or, once I use the letters, I will then have a template that I can then stencil over. So these kind of work, like once you use the letters, don't throw out the, the base of it, because it's really kind of a template um, that you could use again. So, you know, it's just a little tip you can use. So anyhow, this one here, I'm gonna set that aside only because that's at the end. Now, because this is the cover, I'm not going to change this one only because I kind of like the way it looks. Um, so what I plan on doing 
is adding this to the back. So let me get started. It's kind of, I'll say quick. I'm crossing my fingers, it's quick. So my plan was to do naughty here, nice here, and then check it twice on the back. So let's tuck this off to the side here. Now the challenge, as I said, is going to be, this one's gonna be somewhat easier because it's just all one word. Oh, actually it separates right here. Same with this one. So this one is way bigger than this one, but I'm not worried, we don't have a huge family. Um, I'm talking uh, immediate family. So this is those in my household. Now, if you're planning on doing something like this for a bigger family, you may want to think about instead maybe uh, hand lettering it or using some of the Happy Planner stickers to kind of write these out. Um, but I'm going to use these because these are in my stash. And every year I put my hands on them, but I never do anything with them. So this is the year I'm going to do something with it. So I'm going to gently pull off this word and hope <laughs> that I do not rip the letters because it's a script and so everything is coming with it. So there's gonna be one long word. I need to make sure I get this out of this letter. The inside of the A is sticking to the page. I'm gonna just tuck this away and I'm gonna just kind of gently wiggle this off and hope that it doesn't do what it just did like sticks to the other page or other part of the page okay so this is oh there's actually three parts so my challenge has to be that I need to account for these tall letters here the tallest being the H and the T so what I'm gonna do cross my fingers. I'm going to tuck this off to the side, upside down so it's not sticking to anything. Cross my fingers. Um, and I think what I may try, according to this measurement, it should all fit. So I am going to start with the back end of this. So I think I'm going to go backward. And that's just because the letters will all fit, and my concern is making sure I leave room for those two tall fonts, or letters, I should say. And this one is just as wily as the last one. <laughs> Let me get this. You remember, um, was it Slinky? That's what this put me, puts me in mind of, these letters. Like, they're so fragile. So here we go, I think. <laughs> Just a little bit of fun for Tuesday. Or no, today's Wednesday, sorry. Tuesday was the struggle day. All right. So let me see if I can kind of gauge where I need to go to in terms of height. So if I measure based on this last row, and don't go above that, then in theory, let's just kind of stretch this out. This is gonna have to go down to approximately here. So I'm just doing a very crude and rough measurement to give me an idea of where my letters are gonna be placed. All right, so Let's see, this has to go this way. Okay, now's the challenging part. So, the stress. This has to go. I wish it was um, all on like a half sheet, which I could do. I could pull out some wax paper and um, you know, kind of measure it halfway and put it that way, but that can be hard sometimes, not always. So basically you would take the wax paper, put it over it, place your letters, and then you're gonna start, you're gonna roll the wrapping paper, or wrapping paper, <laughs> the wax paper under, 
as you pull it off of the letters so that you stick them down where they need to be. So that's one trick and I've tried it a few times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just gonna give this the good old college try and um, hopefully I get it right. Because now I'm getting nervous because I'm talking. <laughs> So let me see if I can get this on here. Because it has to be in the font as well. Like it has to be written like, let's do this. I'm going to try and do this right. Here we go. Yeah, that one's not much... All right, I'm gonna call it. I'm afraid. Okay, let me get off these two letters here and let's see how well I did. We're gonna keep, we're just gonna go with what we got. So let me, oops, I'm gonna get these letters off because these two are combined and they're very loopy. So let me try and get these off without ripping them. Okay, I got one, two. All right. Now this one was supposed, this one, the H was a little bit higher than the T. So, um, let me see what I can use here. Let me try my little tweezers because I need to make sure I get the H where it needs to be, but manage, I think I gotta go this way. So when, you know, the script word is so long and I need to get it on here correctly with all the letters intact, I just made that. It may be slightly off, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not gonna let those little things stress me out on this. This is supposed to be a fun project. All right, so because I'm pretty certain I cannot pull these up, once I've put them down, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth them down. Like you can tell. So my Y is pretty close to where I'd measured, but the top of this H is right at the edge of the paper. All right, we're in the home stretch, at least for this one. Now, where's my other one that I think I messed up? There it is. I knew I was going to miss it somewhere. I put it safe, and then I put something on top of it. And as you can tell, it's sticking a bit much. I am going to try and pull this up gently. That was a bit nerve-wracking as well. All right, so now I've got even more letters I've got to get on here scary stuff <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this end with my tweezers and we are going to put these down where I think they go I'm, I was kind of measuring to this I don't know that it's exactly right, but I'm, again, I'm gonna go with it because you can tell close up that I've already stressed out some of these letters uh, with pulling them up off the back of this paper. So that didn't quite, it doesn't look terrible. So again, close up, it looks, the letters look a little um, pulled up, but Again, I'm not gonna worry about it. So I've got everything in there. It's not hanging off that I can tell. I mean, it's probably ever so smidge, but I'm not even gonna trim it. All right, so let me take off my pencil mark. Sorry about that. I think I jiggled the camera. Okay. So here's the naughty list. All right, page one. Now, page two, which is just the flip side, I'm planning on putting 
this nice up here, which again, is it's really, it's much bigger than this. Um, probably because there's less words, but I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna work backward. So let me pull off the first two letters. And they may come up because it said it was vinyl, but I didn't really want to take that chance. So let's smooth this down. Okay, two more to go. And then we're going to do a little bit of fun. And I'll keep it as short as I possibly can. Oops. I also took some time today. I had... Um, updated my which way am I going here this way I updated my mini my happy planner mini my poor mini hasn't been used in quite a while because for the most part um, I'm working from home and so it's easy for me to just do what I need to do in my classic um, but I really wanted to use that so I took some time today to get that um, set up and I'm going to commit as I'm talking <laughs> and not too bad. Um, so I got that all updated and I decided I think I'm going to use it for a different reason than I originally was thinking. So I kind of got that all working. And in the process of doing that, of course, pops up the reality that we are one month away almost from the end of the year. That will be it for 2023. So they had me thinking about my 2024 planners and that video is coming up in December, early December. So stay tuned for that. Um, okay, so how cute did that, turn, did that turn out, right? Naughty and nice. I'm not done with these, but let me flip over. I need to get this on the back, and I love this because it's grid, and this is a block font, so, or not a block, but it's a straight font, there's no loops. It should go on fairly nicely. Now it's just a matter of where do I wanna put it. I think I'm gonna do check it twice, as opposed to it looking like this, because it might be stretching too far. So I think what I'll do is I'll start with the middle word and these are all individual letters so let's kind of get an idea well you know what I probably should I probably should have counted to find the center but I'm not gonna worry about that okay so I'm gonna commit to this I think these are two separate pieces. All right. I just love that I can see where they're being put and that they're even because it's got a grid on the back. I mean, these are dot grid and they work, but with the, when you talk with a scripty font, it's, it's a little bit more nerve wracking. So, oops. I want to make sure this goes on straight. I may need to move my dot. Nope, that's good. Okay. So I'm going to go up above and I'm going to try and make it as level as I can, I guess. Let's go with this. And I'm going to work kind of backward. So as I was saying, you know, I kind of was working in my mini, I did something new with it, and um, I spent a portion of today getting that squared away, and I really like how it's going to be used, um, and so I'm looking forward to doing that and then going into 2024 with it. Then... Um, and I'm super excited about bringing in some new planners for 2024, which is always exciting, right? I just want to make sure I'm getting good spacing. Like in this, 
uh, layout here. It has the letters really close together, but I kind of want to space it out just a little bit. Just give them a little breathing room. Since I do have a bit of space to work with here. I probably could have moved this one over a little bit more as well. But again, that's okay. Nothing has to be perfect. I used to thrive off of perfection, but I do not worry about those things anymore. I realize, you know, they just it just causes you more stress. Okay, so I think I got that. Uh, let's see. I will... We'll try and, again, do the same thing. We'll center this one approximately to that one. Let's move this down to here. Don't forget the eye, the dot on the eye. I think I've said when I do Cricut, I tend to forget that. <laughs> now, go ahead and finish my project and realize I missed the dot which is now gone because it's in the garbage, the, the recycled, the, you know, spare pieces. But if I really, really feel it needs it, I'll go back and recut something just so I can get that. The things we do, right? Okay. This is coming out so cute. Um, it's a little not even with the rest of them, but again, not going to worry. This is about having fun. Give yourself some grace. Okay, how cute is that? And you know what I'm going to look for is like maybe a Santa hat to put over here. So I know somewhere I have a Santa hat sticker, so I think I'm going to do that. Sometimes I won't see things... Um, finished until like I actually get them on there. Um, but I do like how this came out. It is adorable. So I'm not going to put those away because I'm not done. So here we go. We're going to go back to this. I'm not going to focus so much on the nice. I did want to talk about the naughty list. Okay. I'm pulling in now. I've marked some pages. This is my, you know, put together book. This is the winter book and I've marked some pages for boxes. What I plan to do with the naughty list is um, I am going to put on here some boxes. They're gonna look like presents. And then what's gonna go over here, because again, there is not a naughty list. Uh, what will go over here though is the items that myself, I have bought for myself during this season of giving. Um, I want to keep track of my spending on myself. And so I'm going to put myself on the naughty list every time I make an expenditure that is not for a Christmas gift, but instead is for myself. So that's what this list is going to be. And I'm just going to randomly grab... I tried to find all the red and green-ish type colored boxes that um, I could find to pair with this. So I'm just going to pull them out. I don't know, and I'm not saying I will use all these. I'm just going to put them on. And if I use them, I use them. If I don't, let's hope I don't. <laughs> and... Um, I'm going to put this one up here. This is cute, this little snowman. So again, my goal is not to use them. But if I do, then I will put myself on the naughty list. I just thought this was a fun way to kind of um, keep track of my spending. And to, um, I can kind of keep in one place everything I've spent, how much. Um, I had a couple more here, so 
this one's a big one. I'm, I'm looking at spacing. So let me go to my last one here. I have a red and I'm gonna put this one down here. And then this one, these over here are red. I think I wanna leave this space here open. I don't have an exact plan just yet, but I wanna leave it open. I think I wanna grab this one. No, even though the green matches, um, I kind of wanna grab a different one. I wanna grab this green just to give a little bit of different color because there's this type of green, this color green up in the tree. Okay, so for this list, that's all I'm gonna put on there. And what I plan to do is I am going to um, trace around each one, put a bow on it, and I do have um, sticky bows, like sticker bows, uh, but I think what I'm going to actually do is just draw out the bow. And I may even use a stamp now that I say that. Let me check quick. All right, so what I did... I pulled out some of my stamps. These are um, these were from a bundle that came from I believe it was fourteen oh seven planners, and then this is Coco Daisy. I have a cute little bow here, um, so I brought out some distressed ink in my stamp pad. I'm gonna set this one aside while I do this one. Um, I am going to use to trace around the box. I'm going to use, I'm just pulling the near, the pen nearest me. And unfortunately it's my, still my November pen. Um, I'm going to try tracing around this and see if I get the look I'm looking for. Okay, so I had a few issues over here on this one, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is take first the bigger bow. I'm gonna do a few stampings. And um, I think as I was doing this, I was thinking about what I put up here and I'm thinking I'm gonna look for a quote. Which one I'm gonna use yet, I don't exactly know. Um, I do think that's what I'm gonna put there. So for the little bit bigger boxes, I'm gonna use this bigger bow. Here we go. How cute is that? This is going to look really nice. Makes me kind of sad that it says naughty on it. <laughs> Let's do this one here, same bow. And I'll do one more with this one. And then I'll go to the smaller one. Very cute. All right, so let's do the last three boxes.
And in case you were wondering, the ink that I am using is Tim Holtz Black Soot. And I'm just off camera here cleaning off my stamp. It just helps to keep your uh, stamps in good uh, condition if you clean them off after each use. And I'm gonna get this one put back. And let me take a look here, let's see. Where are we? So how cute is that, right? Now for my nice list, now remember when I put this in my planner, it's gonna be between the, uh, ad, so this is the advent calendar is gonna be in the middle. And um, I think what I'm gonna do there's a couple quotes. You know what? Instead of maybe doing a sticker, I think I'm going to do a stamp, a stamp quote. So I am going to use the one that's on here. There's actually two. There's one that says, make it a Christmas to remember. And then Mary gives a description about Mary, full of cheerfulness or gaiety, joyous in disposition or spirit causing joy and happiness. So do I want to do that or that? I think I'm going to do the Mary. And for that one, I need a longer. Okay, so I had to get a longer block for this one. Okay, so this one I'm going to stamp right at the top. And that is just, that's going to finish this page off. And it'll be ready to go. And then I can take a look at the nice list. I did not have any boxes picked out for that, but um, I'm thinking I'm either going to use boxes or, hold on, let me stamp. How cute. So this worked out perfectly. It came out, other than a few mess ups on this box, it came out pretty much how I wanted. Now, what I plan to do, I'm just over here cleaning my stamps. Um, what I was thinking of doing, and again, I don't anticipate using these. The goal is not to use these, <laughs> that, which is kind of the opposite of what you typically do pages for. But my plan is not to use them. But if I do, then I would basically write in on there maybe the store and then... Uh, let me make sure I put this on right. The store and how much was spent. You know, was it a need? Was it a want? You know, that kind of thing. All right. So now that I've got that down, let me step back to, I'm just stacking all my little supplies over here. Let's pull back out the nice list. Okay. So my thought, because this, the wording is so big here, what I was thinking of doing was basically creating a table. So I'll have two columns. You know, it might be the name and then maybe like a special gift they like. So that was kind of what I was thinking with this one. And then I could um, drop in a few little stamps here and there. So let's do that quickly because I know I'm getting on in the time. I said I would keep this short. So let's bring out um my micron okay so i have my micron 01 pen and i think what i'm gonna do to give myself enough room well you know what i'll border it let's do this let's go from here to there I'll do another row from here to here. I'm not going to close in that box. Um, and then I'll, let's see, we're, if I keep it in the middle of there, let's go with here. It may not be exactly middle of the page, but I'm going to go with this for now. It seems pretty even okay so here's my table and then 
what I'm going to do is, oh, I probably should bring that line straight up because I am going to, and again, you can easily remake this with, you know, just lettering in naughty and nice, or, and, or you could uh, choose to do the alphabet block, uh, stickers for this. You can, even if you have letter stamps, you could do the same thing. So I'm going to leave that like that. Now, color wise, I think I may do red. Let's see. This is my red brush, my red mild liner brush, my staple in my planner supply. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this box some color and that box some color. And then the, when this dries, I will write in name and gift. So all it means is that, um, again, no one's going to be on the naughty list, uh, but it will keep maybe, at least for me, um, in the forefront of my mind, what is that one special gift that person wants. So that will help me as I finish up my um, Christmas shopping. And I'll be happy to get that done. I love shopping, uh, but it, it can be stressful shopping for other people. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm not going to write that in just yet. But you know that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put name and then gift. So I think for now, I don't want to do anything more with it. Only because I don't want to... Um, be overzealous and forget something. I was going to add a few other things, but I think I like how it came out. So let's pop this back in my planner. All right. So let's get this up here in view. I'm going to move my little sleigh a bit out of the way so that I can get this in here. I tried to re-align my camera so that I could get everything in shot and I still feel like I'm coming up short. So I will continue to work at that. Okay, so let me, oh, this is naughty. Naughty goes first, <laughs> not literally, you get my meaning. And then this will go here. Yes, okay. So while it will not be in full view because I have the advent calendar, let me see if I can get this in there better. Um, here's my naughty list, all ready to go. Here's my nice list. And then, um, let me just do something quickly. I had something over here I wanted to hold off on. I didn't want to put that out there. Okay, so there's the nice list. And then check it twice. So this is the back side of October because as you know, um, it goes into November. I, That's how I did my pages. So here's your list, naughty and nice, check it twice. Um, let's bring this back over so you can see that. All right, so that is today's video for uh, some a specialty paper. Uh, you could easily make this with happy planner paper, cardstock paper, something that came out of one of the planner extension packs. This is usually, I believe, a goals insert, so like it's a bit heavier cardstock. Um, but I chose to use it for Naughty and Nice List. And I used the stickers, I used my supply, and now I'm ready to go for Christmas. One more specialty page done. So I hope I have inspired you to do something to creative today and every day and that you create your beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.